back of head is on the floor, back of pelvis is on the floor. And we're gonna extend the legs up. It doesn't matter if your legs are straight or not straight. So your first bus stop, your level one, so to speak, would be to wedge your hands under your butt to give you a little bit more support. Your second bus stop is palms on the floor. And your third bus stop is just elbows on the floor. And then most advanced would be arms extended up overhead, which is um, too much for me. I think I'm probably gonna go palms on the floor. So back of your head is on the floor, legs are extended up. For the time being, let's glue our legs together, even if they're not straight, it doesn't matter. Close your eyes for a moment and breathe. And just as we did at the beginning, feel the shape of your body on the floor. If you've done class with me before, you know I'm pretty meticulous about the spine. So I want the back of your pelvis on the floor. There will be a little space between your low back and the floor. We want to keep that. I want your bra line or your bro line on the floor, back of your ribs. So we're trying to keep this shape in the torso, okay? So keep that and then slowly take your legs open, like scissors. Yeah, and then slowly bring your legs back together. Not so bad, right? But let's just get really used to it. So legs open like scissors, and they come back together. Just like when we were doing that weird froggy ballet squat thing, there will be a, a beat probably where your body knows that if we, just, if we just do this quickly, it will be easier. So your legs are opening right and left, and closing right and left like scissors. Yeah, okay, cool. Now we're gonna take it a little further. We'll cross the legs when they come back together, not so much like scissors, and then they open, and then they cross the other way, and then they open. It feels good for me to point my toes here. It helps me to squeeze my whole leg. If that feels good for you too, do it. It's like a, gives you a little bit of a ballet feel. Um, I'm okay with that right now. <laughs> if you are too, good. Okay, we're gonna keep these scissors going. So the scissors are opening and squeezing. Opening and squeezing. We're controlling it. At no point do you just drop the legs open or drop the legs closed. Now we're gonna take it a little further away from the body. So if, if our legs were at 90 degrees, let's take them to, I don't know, 10 degrees further away. Good, and then notice what happens in your belly is your bra line or your bra line still on the floor. Is your low back arched? Let's take them a little closer to the floor now. This will change it. It will change it in your hips. Legs come open, squeeze close. Keep your bra line, your bra line on the floor. Yeah, Tim, you got it. Legs come open, close. Now bring them back to 90, but keep moving them. Open and close, open and close. Good, we're gonna keep going with this. So we take the legs further away closer to the floor, Ooh, nothing changes in the spine. We keep opening and closing as they come back to 90. Let's do that maybe two more times. What's going on with your pelvis? It should be still on the floor, both sides. Ooh, open and squeeze and open and squeeze. Last time, take those legs away. Only so much as you can without the back arching. Do an open and close and an open and close. Ooh, bring them back, open and close, open and close, open, and close, open, and close.